Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the daily scan for Monday, January 6, 2013. On the announcement front today, not a lot going on. I don't think Ben upset the markets at all last week on Friday either. We have factory orders and ISM non manufacturing index, and then some Treasury bill uh, sales. So, uh, nothing for today that I don't think is going to be very market impacting. Uh, let's take a look across the pond in Asia. Took a hit. So looking a little uh, bearish over there. Across the board and in Europe, flat and mixed is what I would call this. Okay. Uh, let's shoot right over to the U.S. and see what's going on in our futures. And here we have a slightly up direction right now for our open. And gold is at 1234. Uh, just a bit of a stall after a nice run up last week. And oil's at 9447. I haven't looked at oil in a while. Uh, at a chart anyway. Let me take a quick peek at a chart. Uh, yeah, we're taking kind of a big hit here. So this is a little bit interesting over the last couple of days. Those are big candles for oil. It doesn't usually do that. Of course it did it back here. So I don't know what's behind that, but it's just uh, something interesting to watch and if you're playing the futures um, you can use this uh, this system for you know using this uh, stochastic and MACD you can use it on anything that you might want to trade uh, just stick to the rules basically and if you're wondering what exactly the rules are I'm still working on it it's still being refined I'm working on um, making sure that you can do like a stop limit order to get out if you can't monitor it all day long so I'm checking that out uh, before I release anything because I want to make it complete and I do want to you know run it for a while also and you can um, follow right along with me I guess you might say alright uh, last week was interesting uh, of course, you know, Priceline, we took a hit on that. Took max loss on that, uh, which is okay. So let's take a look at how last week ended up. Here's Priceline. Early exit for max loss. So I did collect 225 on that, and the max loss was 275 So I took the entire loss on that. This is LinkedIn, which I exited on the 3rd early. Um, didn't want to wait uh, all the way until expiration on that. So we ended up with $212 or $2.12 on that. And $2.14 on Baidu did the same thing. Got out of both of them uh, in the morning, I believe on the third so last week ended up pretty nice here's Priceline's chart here is Baidu's chart since it comes up here and got out on the third early in the morning right away should have taken my profits the day before uh, but I didn't and LinkedIn was uh, highly successful as well and would have expired worthless for max profit, but that's okay. So now we're going to be looking for more opportunities. i get these off of here. So they don't distract me. All right. Uh wanted to let you know that I also took a look at this at GLD and was just messing around with um, 
some what ifs and the what if that I came up with is down here and that was if uh, the price of GLD went up five bucks by the end of this week and this was selling a Feb 134 because remember we want to stick with this 134 and I would collect 77 cents and this number over here the 5.37 percent is just if it would expire in the money but <clears throat> we don't know that that's going to happen yet so we'll just sit on our hands for a while and wait for it to come to us all right let's run through our uh, a plus list all right Apple we're in an uptrend no setup there AGG uh, we're pretty flat definitely no setup there Amazon in an uptrend uh, this is a failed setup here so there's nothing going on there Boeing of course they got their contract uh, sort of missed one here how did I miss that it seems really how could I have missed that on Friday it's still not too late it is still not too late now this one I, I didn't check anything on Friday because I didn't think that anything was there so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to be making notes on these to tell me to go and take a look at them hang on so if price moves up this morning on Boeing I'll be getting in on that okay alert last go baby go yeah okay all right we're just looking for anything any sort of movement up on that and let's take a look at um, what might be out there because some of these just aren't all that pretty Is, are all these boings December January Wow okay all right so let's take a little bit less here because we're going to be playing mostly at the money so we don't need so many strikes okay now uh, if we were to do something at the money see if we can get out of it what we would like 43 cents and then we would um, the max spread that we would put here would be three dollars so that'd be 135 so that's three dollars it's only giving us a dollar credit don't really like that don't that's not pretty um, I'll keep a, I'll keep checking Boeing but um, this is not something that I like because it's not implied volatility 25 or it's just not getting the spread here that or the um, yeah the the price here that I'm looking for I'd be looking for a buck and a half on a three dollar spread because I don't want to lose 200 to make a hundred I'd like to have it be a little bit better than that okay um, anyway back to the charts we'll take a look at it and we'll see what happens uh, Baidu may be setting up again but we need to wait a little bit on that one Celgene no setup there Chipotle no set up there Costco uh, Costco is uh, giving us a new downtrend hmm all right I need to zoom out a little bit I just like the way it looks back here a little tighter uh, that's interesting but definitely no setup there as for sure so if I click on this on this uh, actual symbol here and I can just use my down arrow to run through my charts uh, Chevron may be setting up there may be a future trade there in Chevron 
Igor. Um, we need no setup there. We need a. It's in a downtrend. We need a solid green line on the stochastic. It's not there. Fed X may be setting up. Um, I am going to set an alert here. 140.05. If it moves up a little bit this morning. Forty oh five. Let's make it one forty fifty. So that has possibilities. All right, G L D. There is an almost setup here. Would have liked it to have come down and kissed a twenty down here, and it didn't. And this is only two days, so that would have been three days on that move. That would have been good. Here's one with three days on that move. I like that. It's not happening here. It's not quite meeting the requirements. All right, Google. Um, where is this? This is 72. This level right here is 72. If we look in this box right here, 72. Not really ripe enough. I might consider it, but and it's not quite giving us uh, down here either. Um, it's actually at 23. That's pretty close. 23 is pretty close. Uh, I am going to alert Google here. All right, 11.05 was its close. Let's make 11. Oh, nine. I just want to come and take a look at it, see if it swings up this morning or not. All right. IWM and Brother Rut. No setup there. LinkedIn. Uh, no setup there. MasterCard might be setting up. We have two days of red, another day of red, and we could have a potential candidate. 3M Oh, yeah, we could be setting up there. And we have one, two, three days of red, solid red down, so I'm putting an alert on this one. A little bit early on these alerts, but I want to be able to watch these. So we had a close at, well, I can't read it now, 138.45. One thirty-eight seventy-four. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay, we have an alert on 3M. Moving right along. Marvel's not on her Netflix. No setup there. Priceline. No setup there. Russell. No setup there. Oh, we need to take a look at SPX. Man, all right. Uh, we have a setup coming on this. Where did we hit here? Seventy-five point seven, almost seventy-six, and we have a nice solid red down. So there could be a setup there. Eighteen thirty-one was the close. Let's look for eighteen thirty-two. Next on the list is Tesla. All right, um, we missed a trade on this here on this particular day. We had a double red down after a solid green up with a downtrend. 
missed a trade. I might have talked about that last week. And then last, and we're still waiting for a setup there, and then last, but definitely not least, is Visa, and we're waiting for a setup on that. Okay, that's it for today. Um, pretty simple. The scan only takes about five minutes to run through these. And that's with giving explanations and everything else. So when you do this yourself with the list of this length, whatever your list may be, um, it shouldn't take you more than about five minutes. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.